Here are 10 cheap tricks to make your Airbnb listing pop for less. I hope you're keeping score because we are. Number one is to paint the ceiling instead of buying a chandelier. I know what you're thinking. You've never touched the ceiling to begin with. This costs money, but let me tell you that the very best Airbnb listings in the world all have a vertical element on the ceiling. They either use wallpaper or paint or chandelier or mural or texture to create interest in the top of their Airbnb photos. Remember, everything that we do is for the photo. If your floor and your ceiling are not interesting, you will lose bookings. So with that in mind, what can you do to make the ceiling interesting? Well, you can paint it. This is the cheapest when you paint it alongside of your walls. If you do this as a standalone expense, it will cost you roughly the same amount of money as a good chandelier. And let's take this one to the scoreboard. How much money did we save painting our ceilings? The cost in paint and labor for a ceiling is roughly $75, and the lowest cost of a considerable chandelier that is interesting to the eye is $150 or greater, plus the cost of install. You've saved yourself at least 75 bucks. Number two, in your bedroom, use a combination of a four-foot plant and a stand-up mirror in place of a dresser, knickknacks, and art. The reason why your small Airbnb with two-day and three-day stays may not need a dresser, so this solution more so applies to shorter stays than longer stays. As long as you have sufficient storage in your closet, you don't need a dresser. And a dresser by itself is not interesting. You would have to do more with it. Knickknacks and artwork on the top, artwork on the wall behind it, you'd have to add some color because a basic wood dresser just doesn't pop in the photos. But what does is a nice big leafy green plant and a reflective mirror that draws interest to the space. I use this cheap trick in almost all of my listings and let's take it to the scoreboard. How much money did we save using a plant and a mirror instead of a dresser and art? The plant mirror combo can be done for $110. The cost of the dresser alone can be over $200 plus another $75 for the art and you're also now still missing a mirror, which every Airbnb needs. You know that from my previous video about the 10 things you need in your Airbnb listing. Number three, buying vintage books instead of Amazon sculptures. When you decorate your Airbnb, it has to have stuff in it. It needs pops of color. It needs things that are interesting. A coffee table book is a book that you know about, but you also put little knickknacks and statues all around the house. And you do this just to have stuff in your photos. That way your place is more interesting. No one likes an empty, artless Airbnb. But do you have to spend $12 or $15 on every little statue or $30 or $40 on every medium statue? Is there a better way? Let's take it to the scoreboard. How much money did we save getting free books instead of paying for artwork? Yes, you can get boxes of used books for free or even for just a couple of bucks. On Etsy, people sell whole boxes of books for $25 or $40 and they're making a killing. If you stack three or four four books in place of a statue anywhere in your house where the books have color that complements your design style, it will have the same effect. You also have the added benefit of making your home more engaging. Someone may actually read that book while they're in the home. They can't read a statue. Cheap trick number four is to hire your staff by the hour and not by the job. This is most commonly achieved with housekeeping. You pay your housekeepers per clean. If you have an apartment, that's probably $55 or $60. If you have a house, we're looking at three or $400 for the big ones. There is an added danger to paying by the job that's not just saving money. And let me tell you right now, they don't want to do the extras. They want to do the basic stuff for the money they're already getting paid. When you ask them to check to make sure that the TV's not broken, the internet is connected to the TV, that there's enough wine glasses, all the little extra things that you do as a wellness check for your home, they don't want to take the time. They're already getting your money. But when you pay someone by the hour, all of these extra things, they take time. So they will be compensated for their time. It makes it a fair exchange. Paying by the hour makes it easier to get the housekeepers to do everything that they're supposed to to run a good Airbnb. And they won't rush their work. But enough about that. We only care about the savings. Let's take it to the scoreboard. How much money are we saving paying by the hour instead of by the job? My housekeepers get paid $15 to $17 per hour, which means we pay about $25 per clean in my apartments. We are paying less than half and they do everything that we say without complaint. Cheap trick number five is to buy rollaway beds in a couch 
instead of a sleeper sofa. All of you know the more people you can sleep, the more money that you'll make. And not only will this save you money, but sleeper sofas are one, very hard to move because they're heavy, and two, they are harder to find, at least good ones that can fit a design theme. They get really expensive when you buy the good ones. But to buy a rollaway bed, it's lightweight, it stores easy, if it breaks, it's easy to replace, it's easy to do maintenance on, and you can buy your favorite couch and not have to worry if it turns into a bed. There are so many benefits to rollaway beds, including they have sheets, so no one is putting their naked butt on your couch, but you can bet your ass we're taking it to the scoreboard. How much money are we saving on rollaway beds? The cost of a rollaway bed is 100 to two. The cost of a sleeper sofa is 600 to $5,000. If you buy any rollaway bed that has any design element at all, you're looking at thousands of dollars. This will save you $1,200 on average for the same amount of sleeping capacity in houses. If you have a really cheap Airbnb and you want a really cheap couch or futon, that's on you. But I recommend don't go too cheap because people can tell when you have cheap stuff in the photos and we're trying to avoid looking cheap. We want to be cheap but not look cheap. These next five can literally save you thousands of dollars and with all of those savings, you can take yourself on a nice long romantic vacation down to the subscribe button. And while you're down there, look for a link. I've launched a new program. It's a course and a webinar where you can learn everything about the Airbnb algorithm. It's called Re-Algorithm 3. I've done two before. I've been teaching this a long time and this is my best work on the algorithm you've ever seen. I'll see you in Re-Algorithm 3. Number six, I'd love to keep it real with you, but I can't because there's nothing more fake than these plants. The money that you will save from using fake house plants versus real ones is not in the upfront cost. They are roughly the same, you could argue, but the cost of maintenance, the inefficiency of remembering, and then the cost of replacing it because you did not remember it because you're a bad plant dad will cost you a lot of money in the future. This summer, I went on a series of trips I had for plants. I did well with them initially because I bought plants that were meant to survive people like me, but even though they were the right plants for the job, I went through an exceptionally hard breakup and I stopped taking care of things. And because of that, all four plants were lost at the end of my last relationship. You may suffer stresses in your business and forget to remind people to water these plants and they will look ugly at minimum or they will die and you'll have that on your conscience. But of course, we don't care about the lives of leafy greens unless they can fold up and go in our pocket. Let's take it to the scoreboard. How much money are we saving? Fake plants, even though they cost the same upfront, you will never pay for one ever again, which could save you hundreds of dollars every single year per plant that you buy. Number seven is a timeless cheap trick. You know I'm cheap, I've been cheap a while, and I've also taught for over six years on YouTube. This is one of my oldest pieces of advice. Go back and watch my older videos, but if you are starting an Airbnb property doing Airbnb arbitrage like me, it is in your best interest to rent a studio instead of a one bedroom. And the reason why is there is an extra wall in that space and that wall needs paint, it needs art, it needs furniture. And on top of that, studios just photograph so much better than one bedrooms do, meaning you need to do less to make photos look good. It's as simple as that. Let's take it to the scoreboard and see how much money we are saving on studio apartments. Adjusted for 2024, the average studio apartment costs $4,300 to furnish. The average one bedroom property costs $5,700 to furnish. The reason why, again, is you have two rooms, both with four walls, instead of just one room with four walls. Tip number eight will take you straight to the big time. If you do this, you're doing what the biggest Airbnb businesses in the world do. Start to make your own shampoo bottles by buying in bulk and distributing in smaller bottles. By doing this, you get the cost advantage of gallon shampoo. You get the cheap price of buying hundreds of little pump bottles and every Airbnb needs their shampoo in a pump. Unless you buy the little hotel bottles, you do not want a family size squeeze bottle because housekeepers do not tend to clean them and those are the ones that get stuff all over the outside of them. So in summary, making your own little shampoo bottles are cleaner and they prevent theft and you also get a cost reduction outside of that as well. Let's take that to the scoreboard. How much money are we saving making our own shampoo bottles? Using Amazon as our pricing example, using bulk shampoo, you can get it for 16 cents an ounce and buying pump bottles individually will cost you 
at bare minimum 27 cents per ounce, they can go up as much as a dollar and 50 cents per ounce. Buy those small bottles and top them off on your own. And remember, because it's not branded, people won't be stealing them. Cheap trick number nine is also old school and it doubles down. If you do arbitrage, this really works for apartments, but if you have multiple houses, you can do this too, kind of. Have all of your TVs share streaming services. That means per 10 TVs, have one Disney Plus, have one Amazon Prime, and have one Netflix on 10 TVs. Instead of giving each TV all of their own streaming services, the concept of this is concurrent viewership. If you have 10 houses or 10 apartments, not all 10 persons will be watching TV at the same time. Many people actually don't watch TV when they're traveling, they're out doing stuff. So in my experience, three streaming services per 10 TVs is a generous allotment. You do not need to have 30 streaming services. On top of that, if you have apartments next door to each other, they can also share internet saving you your internet bill. I do not recommend a three to one relationship or bigger, just do two because internets can fail sometimes. And if one internet goes down and all of a sudden three apartments lose internet, that would be a problem. So maybe do a two to one relationship. And while we're here, they're not paying me to say this, but I recommend Xfinity because they have the Xfinity hotspots in some cities. Meaning if your internet goes down, you can give somebody a hotspot and they can still have internet access, food for thought, but also food for the scoreboard. How much money are we saving on our streaming services? 90% and it's easy math. If you have three streaming services instead of 30, that's one tenth, that's 90% off. And it might be obvious with this video, I'm feeling rather cheap. I was going to cheap out and not give you number 10, but number 10 is the DIY instead of hiring contractors. This can be a toughie for some. Some of you aren't skilled, some of you are passive, but I guarantee you, if you paint your own walls, stage your own rooms, maybe even putting on your own wallpaper, installing your own chandeliers, putting up your own plant walls, you will save so much money on your one-off launch costs that you can set up more Airbnbs faster with less money and you can have more Airbnbs with those savings. So if you are in this business, take this business seriously and consider doing things yourself so you can have more properties. That will have a huge effect on your business. There are many DIY comparisons, but let's just take one to the scoreboard. How much money can we save painting our own walls? According to Angie's list, the price of a 1,000 square foot home goes for 2,000 to 3,000 dollars contracted to paint the home. If you do it yourself, you can get that done for 500 to 700 dollars. And if you do your own jobs, over and over and over again, you will save even more money because some of those supplies are reusable, like the plastic and the brushes. You may have realized that you don't even have some of the things that you could have saved money on. With that said, watch this next video about the 10 things that every Airbnb needs so you don't miss out because everybody else that does this the right way is taking money out of your pocket. Thank you so much for watching this video all the way to the end. You are the best. And as always, my friends, I will see you on the other side. Hi.